ब्रॉड टू यू बाय एजिलस डायग्नोस्टिक्स एजिलस डायग्नोस्टिक्स बिफोर वी स्टार्ट विद अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ डॉक टॉक डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर डिड यू नो दैट ओवर 2 लाख वुमेन इन इंडिया आर डायग्नोस्ड विद ब्रेस्ट कैंसर एवरी ईयर According to the journal Cancer it's the most common cancer among women in the country. Early detection is crucial as it can make a huge difference and keep the disease highly curable but for women aged 40 to 50 there's a 1 in 69 chance of developing breast cancer. While doctors recommend annual mammograms many women skip them thinking that they would know if something is wrong or they are hesitant about it. to help to clear up any confusion and share some valuable tips for your first mammogram we have an expert with us today today i'll be talking to you about tips for your first mammogram a mammogram is an essential tool for screening for breast cancer and in a lot of western countries it is a part of the government funded screening available to all women in india it is not so so it's very important to speak to your healthcare practitioner and decide or come to an understanding of what your personal breast cancer risk is before you embark on any type of screening it's very important for all women to start having a clinical breast examination that is having your breasts examined by a, a clinician at the age of 30 years and have it done every year. You should also examine yourself every month and do a self breast examination. Understand how you should be doing it and do it month after month. As for a mammogram, it's very important to speak to your clinician and have the clinical breast examination before actually going for your mammogram. A clinician may ask you what is your family history of breast or ovarian cancers, what was your age you had your first period, whether you are still having your periods. uh do you have children at what age do you have them and all of these are very important risk factors for breast cancer and you should give all the information honestly and clearly as far as possible for your mammogram it's very important that uh you choose a center that is uh you know easy for you to get to and you should preferably have your mammogram done at the same center every year so that they are able to compare your mammograms that are done previously and then you are one It's good to have a center that has a digital mammogram and even better if you can find something that also has tumor synthesis included in the mammogram. Another thing is on the day of your uh, mammogram wear something that's easy to take off and uh, because your mammo for your mammogram you do need to remove your top coats. Avoid wearing any lotions, any perfume, deodorants or talc. Uh, on the day of your mammo because it can interfere with the reading of a mammogram if you think you are pregnant or that you might be pregnant it's very important that to inform the technician or your doctor because we want to be sure that um you are not pregnant when we do the mammogram because the radiation that comes during a mammogram can affect a fetus that is growing inside the uterus always have the mammogram a week after your period because that is the time when your breasts are most supple and least painful so what happens during the mammogram procedure uh when you uh, reach the center you may have to wait a little to uh, come to your appointment once you get inside there should only be you and the technician who's going to be performing your mammogram in most centers you will find only a female technician and you should be very very comfortable while having a mammogram and ask for adequate privacy if you feel that you are not comfortable always ad- uh, advocate for yourself so during the mammogram you will be asked to remove your top clothes and each breast will be compressed in uh, between two plates uh, one at a time each breast usually has two views so first they will compress your breast from top to bottom and then from side to side in patients who have uh, larger breasts or if you have an implant or if you have a lump they may take more than two views per breast while your breast is compressed you may feel a little discomfort but if it is painful and if it's very painful you can tell your technician to uh, try and reduce the compression a bit till you are comfortable Some patients actually find it uh, convenient to have a painkiller a half an hour to one hour before they go for their mammogram. 
The entire procedure takes about 10 to 20 minutes. Remember, annual mammograms are important for your health, so keep this tip in mind when going for your first mammogram screening. That's all for today. Keep watching Doc Talk on Fit Talk.